Greetings and salutations. Rigthar here, back with episode 2 of our Blueberry Plains Let's Play. Last time we started our settlement, named it Blueberry Plains at the end. We named our district as Papaya Place. We are in the middle of a drought. We got 2.9 days to go. We'll let the beavers get started. We are valiantly with Alvamo and Vusashi trying to get through picking all the carrots. And we will not get through picking them before they die. Or at least I don't think we will. We have some blueberries up here. We should probably go ahead and put a gatherer. Yeah, we'll put one gatherer right there. And we will pause both of these. So yeah, we've run out of storage. So I think, because we're always going to need blueberries. Because growing babies requires blueberries. So we're going to put... A medium storage right here. Mm. Let's put it over here. No. Change your mind. Put it back there. We will change it to berries. Wait, are they just called berries? Oh no, there are blueberries. I, I was about to say. If they were only called berries and I've been doing blueberries and named my place Blueberry Plains, I would have proverbial egg on my face. But, crisis over. Okay, so we are waiting on the science to unlock the Forester. We have the planks we need to do that. And... Well, we have the planks we need to build the Forester is what I meant. And... Close to science. We need 60, so... Make sure he's going. Good old Seji. This will let us back up all the water. And keep us from running out quite so soon. We will need to get some additional tanks. Oh yeah, I forgot. We've got two being built. Still we'll need more, but that will be good for now. Let's just go ahead and put one tank here and another breeding pod here. Nice symmetry. Extend the path out. Okay, I guess we're about... To the point where we can build a house. We do have two people not working. So let's add to our builders. We also probably need to go ahead and build another farm soon. So that we can have one farm planting and one harvesting. And then also times like these when we're trying to rush some harvest we will get more out of it oh we probably lost some harvest because we needed more storage for carrots too you live and learn this new systems system it's getting getting me so let's go ahead let's put one more do we need a full storage or do we just want to do another little one for carrots I'm going to do one... Mm, how much is in it? I mean, eventually we won't need a full storage. That's that's why I am whiffling on this. But we'll do that. Got to tell it to hold water. I think we got all of those. Tell this to hold some carrots. Yeah. See right here beside carrots and blueberries. Gotta keep an eye on that. That's one of the new features. Thankfully though, we are going to make it through the drought. I think. We're definitely running low. We're definitely not going to have enough water to get us there without being thirsty. But I'm pretty positive that we will make it. And the water comes from way over here. Starts here, makes its way very slowly, even on speed three, down to our little town here. So I don't think we'll have any problem getting this complete by the time 
the next drought comes along because that's what's going to be important. See, all of these are down. See, over here, we have this little bitty lake that continues to be hydrated for a long time. And that's essentially what we want to do over here. This game, there's an evaporation mechanic. The wider or the area, the greater the area of the water, the more it's evaporating. And the shallowness of the water, it evaporates more. So we will have basically half a block of water dammed up between there and here. And so once the drought starts, it will start evaporating and eventually it'll go away. Now, late game, you start getting later in the game, not really late game, but later in the game, we'll start getting dynamite and we can blow out deeper sections and create some reservoirs that will hold water longer. But we'll also be laying down these large tanks, which I, I've never used actually. The biggest ones previous to this update were just these 300. But we'll be laying down those large tanks and eventually we'll need all the water and it'll still get used up. So it'll still get used up even more when we have the big reservoirs. Okay, I think I said earlier that we needed to get some housing and we do because our beavers are at negative seven uh, probably thirsty yeah some of them are getting thirsty uh, they're not hungry thankfully but they are thirsty and they are tired of slaving away and then having to sleep on the ground you know I think I can understand I do I think I can relate that was a lie. I cannot relate. I am not one to sleep on the ground. Was looking at glamping the other day because my wife said the word and I was like, what the crap is glamping? So there's a state park down the road that offers glamping. Glamping is a tent. Well, in this case, it's a tent with a queen size bed, air conditioning, a Keurig, and Wi Fi. This is my idea of camping. I could do this. I like the outdoors. I just don't like everything that's in it. Actually, I just don't like bugs. Love nature. Hate bugs. I wasn't even paying attention. I was thinking of glamping, and the drought ended, and water is here now. Is it already all the way down? Did I? No, it's not quite. I was definitely not paying attention, though. So, we are, we'll have this built. And you see how if you narrow it down, the water's starting to go faster? One of the ways we can get power is by water wheels. And one of the ways you can get water to move fast is to narrow the path. And so what you'll see sometimes is somebody have a long stretch of water that is like two wide or three wide with just water wheel after water wheel all the way, all the way down through it. Yeah, I usually don't do water wheels nowadays. Because when I use the iron teeth, I generally like doing the engine, which basically converts wood into energy. And then when I use the folktales, I like using windmills. Okay, let's see here. We got our blueberry storage, good. I'm going to have our carrot storage, although... It'll be four days before we have carrots. Okay, so what's our next step? We've got our science. We're going to unlock our forester. Could have done this a while ago, but I wasn't paying attention. Classic Rigthar. I want to put this. I think I'll put it right here because once we have this built, we'll be able to go over here too. And I want to use this for food. So if I put it here, I'll be able to plant up through here. Let's see how far. So I'll be able to plant to here and over here. Yeah, I like that idea. What if I put it here? That might be better. I think that will be better. I think that gives me more planting area, but is on the other side of this. So let's go ahead and tell it. 
to hurry up. Okay, so we're up to 13 people. So I think we've had at least one or two children. Yep, Sedumon and Zashi were both born. So we have two children. Okay, so let's go ahead, extend the path out one. I think I want to go ahead and bring our path this way, just to have it. And then we're going to plant some trees. We're going to put some pines over here. We're going to put some pines because these grow much faster than what I want. They only give us two wood per. I uh, missed about one. Missed it by that much. Get smart ref reference for anybody who grew up watching Nick at Night in the 90s. Okay, so we've got some pine going. Pine takes 12 days and gives us two wood. The fastest growing is the birch, which takes nine days, gives us one wood. So while it is a desperation move to do birch, it's also extremely useless. Or at least I find it is, because it's just not enough wood to feed the industry. What we want are maple, and lots of them. 30 days to grow, but eight wood. Hmm, let me think. So if you did pine, that's 12 days to grow, and you get two wood. So out of 30, we're going to get, yeah, still plenty more. I was just curious. Needed to do math in my head. Um, you might have heard the rusty gears turning, because I am not great at math in my head anymore. Back in the day in school, man, I was good at math. Then I got old. Okay, I'm going to leave these dandelions. Dandelions are used to make medicine. So I'll, I'll leave them for now. Or do it, will I? Because I can plant some dandelions. I'll leave them. It's going to take long enough to get that wood growing. Then I want to also go... I want to get every bit of maple growing I can. But I will leave those. I feel like... Ooh, oh, 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 no. I did something very stupid. I forgot. Work two more hours. Get in there. Oh, my goodness. I hope I haven't really screwed me over. I probably have. They're all thirsty. Because they can only drink so fast. I'm going to put another pump in here, right here, so that it can start pumping as well. Won't help in this fiasco. Goodness. That was... That was a costly mistake. Okay, so I want... Okay, these are already high priority. I want to make this high priority, this very high priority, as well as these. And then let's make this... Uh, really should finish that, but I'm not going to. I'm going to tell him to finish this first. Okay, now we'll speed up. We have two jobs with vacancies. Buildings lack workers. So let's get somebody over there. Did I tell them they can... Nope. Let's cut them all. Now that I'm going to have a forester, I'm not too worried about that. And then let's get the guy over here. Pause this guy. Okay, so no vacancies. Everybody's good. I was thinking the other day I wanted to watch Chronicles of Narnia. It's been a while. Like that movie. Okay, one more. Then they will get the pump. Then the Forester. Once we unlock them, we'll ha we can get the flood flood gates, which are handy, but you can't walk across them. But you can put them down to zero, up to three quarter. They can be two high, three high. Lots of flexibility. Okay, with this thing high two, 
always want water being pumped. Then I think we'll go ahead and put down another farmhouse. Drought is coming, people. But we've got it dammed up. We should probably unlock the medical beds. It's only a matter of time before somebody gets hurt. Might leave it, because I actually wondered if the game logic keeps people from getting hurt if you can't help them. I don't know. I think I'll unlock a shower. Let's give these guys a nice shower. Just pop it over here. Does this use water? Hmm. What if it does? I assume it does to some degree. But hopefully not enough to decrease my water appreciably faster. Okie doke. Let's speed this up. We got lots to build. Very storage is empty. Whoa. Wait. Guys. We have one food. Somebody, i.e. me, was not paying attention. Looks like berries are about to sprout, bloom, appear. Either way, looks like we're about to have some berries. Let's make berry pickers high priority. Looks like we're also about to have some carrots. So I think we'll be in good shape, but that was definitely scary. I think we're going to keep it at a 20 hour work week. Don't have anybody there. I could probably. Hmm. Well, when the drought hits, if we filled up the barrels, which I doubt we will have by then, I'll at least pause one of these. But I need to get somebody planting trees very soon. But can go ahead and put a lumberjack over here. Have I done a teeth grinder? I don't think so, but I haven't had anybody break their teeth yet either. But it's only a matter of time, so let's get one of those down too. What kind of trees we got here? Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. I always want to say toes. But I'm pretty sure it's nose, but I suck at lyrics. We'll go with nose. But I am going to tell it to cut these down. Now you can get chestnuts from chestnut trees, and then you can roast them in a grill. But I have found it hard to get like a like a good industry going. And when we do go build a grill, I'm going to want it to be doing roasted potatoes for right now. But even when I've like had like a big huge field of chestnuts, I just feel like I guess the beavers just really like chestnuts, and that's the first thing they eat. But it sure does feel like that. Anyway, let's tell it to cut down all these chestnuts. And ooh, we did have one beaver exhausted. Bring us down to 18. Why are you? Are we just first thing in the morning and they haven't woke up yet? Odd. Okay, so we are set for the drought we'll see how long the drought lasts we have house being built i thought why are we not are we out of logs we're out of logs darn it ah told you broken teeth matter of time let's go ahead and get somebody going we will force a woodcutter i think i'll just pause this one well doesn't matter anyway, there was nobody there. But somebody over here, this will give us four each. So we should be able to get a decent amount of wood out of that. I think I'll go ahead and just pause this one too. What wall do we have? Working. So we got two berry pickers. We do have a berry supply going up, that's good. Fill in our little storage areas with carrots and berries we should have plenty of storage now we have i need more workers but workers will take food well we got three breeding pods going we have to kind of keep an eye on though those breeding pods they will start 
especially kind of later in the game, you'll have 10 or 15. Because as people are dying, Vusashi has died. We need somebody coming in behind him. So if we've got 30 people dying in a year, we need 30 or more little ones coming in. We probably don't need two builders. I mean, I'm sorry, four builders. Well, they won't, they won't plant anything over here. But after the next drought, then they'll start planting over here. And then during the drought, things might die. But oh well. Uh, three day drought. That's not bad. I think we will get through it just fine. I think I will leave the pumpers pumping. We have a barracks. Now we can create another barracks. That way everybody's happy. So I guess let's just do that. Let's just do one right here. Then we can wrap around. And we will put something here. Probably a medical bed. Lacks materials. Need logs. And logs. Okay, so we got another farm. We will wait until it gets stocked naturally. But this one's prioritizing harvesting. That one's prioritizing planting. Let's get us some potatoes going. Actually, we'll just... Go ahead and spread us out. Take away these so that we can bring our path down through there. In case we want to do something this way. See, our happiness keeps going up. Now that we got at least some people not having to sleep outside, uh, they're much happier. I think I'm going to put it down to one and then go ahead and force it. Because I want, I want somebody planting potatoes. Let's prioritize, actually, potato. Okay, doke. Let's see here. So we got some trees going. I, I, I need you to prioritize pine. You're not even. You don't even have a worker. We'll pause you because you already cut down what you're gonna cut down. Oh goodness. Let's put a. Lumberjack here. I'm going to get all of these trees cut down so I can start using this for other stuff. Okay. This area. Keep it tidy for the CPU usage. Okay. So we have not enough workers. I need more beavers. We've got two children, but we've had a couple of people die. We do have two children about to be born, too. Drought is about over, so we did make it through that drought plenty. It wasn't a long one, though. We should start seeing longer droughts the next time or two. Let's go ahead and get a storage built for potatoes. I like the storage, but I, I do wish I could put multiple things. Like, I wish I could do, okay, put carrots and potatoes in here. Or maybe like all food or all ingredients, stuff like that. So hopefully they'll give us some categories that we can put in these things. Potatoes. And then let's go ahead and get a grill going. The potatoes are here. Let's put the grill right beside it. This is what I like about it. Because like this grill is going to be right beside the potatoes that it's going to need to cook it. That's nice. Normally, I would have just put that there, and it would have had everything in it. And so it may have had potatoes, but most likely it wouldn't have. Oh, beavers getting a bath. It's a dual bath. I think that's new. I could be totally making that up, though. But I'll, I I feel like I remember one beaver going in, not two. Or maybe that's an iron tea thinking thing, and I'm thinking folktale. You are planting... I'm gonna go ahead. It just bothers me too much to have all of these over here. Aesthetically, it just isn't okay. So now I'll wait till those get done and then we'll plant some additional maples in this area. Okay, so two. How far? How close are y'all to growing up? We've got one at 78%. That's not close enough. 
Do I want to, t I'm gonna go down to one builder because I really want somebody cutting these trees. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so we've got plenty of food, plenty of water. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss something again. We are in definite need of some logs. We need this storage to come up just because we need some happiness. Beavers work better when they're happier. I bet these are too far away from a district. Yep. So let's actually, let's pull this all the way down. And I think it's about time to unlock stairs. I'd like to empty this storage and then put a stair here. Eventually come up through here. Okay, so we have, take stock of what we got going on. Slow it down so nothing outrageous happens while I'm talking. I think a good little setup here. We got plenty of food. We've got our dam up so that our food production should keep on going even after it's a drought. We've got enough water to get us through, I think, quite a bit. Ooh, and some of our children grew up. So let's turn that back on. Got some potatoes growing. Potato storage will get built once we have some more logs. Uh, if you made it to this point, thank you. And have a great day.